Are you looking for the best cheap ultralight sleeping pads in your budget? Well in today's video, we break down the top 5 best cheap ultralight sleeping pads that are available on the market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their price quality, durability, and more to see the more information about these product. I found these products much helpful for people like you. You can check out the description below also make sure you subscribe for more videos. Okay so let's get started with the video. Number 5. Climate Static V2UL. The Climate Static V2UL is a very affordable air pad and weighs just over one pound. It is also one of the most comfortable cheap sleeping pads you'll find for backpacking. The air chambers are designed to keep the air in place. It's even good for side sleeping. If you need a warmer pad, Climate also makes many other versions of the Static V, including insulated and extra wide, but some are heavier or pricier. A lot of backpackers have tried out Climate products. Their experiences differ drastically. Some say their pads held up for years. Other people complain about pads leaking on day one. Even more people say that the pads eventually start to leak because the seams don't seem to be heat sealed well. The good news is that Climate is really good about returns and has a lifetime warranty. Just make sure you test your static V before taking it on a long hike. And bring a patch kit. Number 4. Sleeping Go Ultra Light Air Pad. The UL Sleeping Pad by Sleeping Go is one of the most popular and best selling on Amazon. It is incredibly cheap. Considering the price, the specs look really good just 14.5 ounces, a 2.1 R value, which seems to be accurate, and a weight limit of over 300 pounds. It only takes about 10 to 15 breaths to inflate. But, as with all gear which seems too good to be true, the Sleeping Go is definitely cheaply made. It will eventually pop on you, so you absolutely must make sure you have the repair kit on trips. The shape of the air chambers can make it somewhat difficult to patch. Another issue with the cheap sleeping pad is that the valve is in a weird place at the end of the pad. If you need to reinflate the pad at night, which a lot of hikers say was necessary, you have to get of the pad and flip it over. Number 3. Rhino Tough Sleeping Pad. At 75 by 24 inches when inflated, the Rhino Tough sleeping pad is larger than the other cheap backpacking pads reviewed here. It is surprisingly lightweight for its size. The pad by itself weighs 14 ounces. With the included pillow, it is approximately 17 ounces, but is really slippery and uncomfortable. As you'd expect from a cheap pad, the Rhino Tough specs are exaggerated. It doesn't seem to really have a 2.2 R value and it is more like 1.5 inches thick than the advertised 2 inches. It's actually pretty bulky when rolled up, 11 by 4 compared to 8 by 3.5 with Sleeping Go. You can also expect the Rhino Tough pad to slowly deflate on you at night and eventually experience some pops. Despite these issues, the Rhino Tough is still a pretty good summer backpacking pad if you are on a limited budget. Number 2. Therma Rest Rigorist Solite. When it comes to warmth to weight, you won't find a better cheap sleeping pad than the Ridgerist Solite. It is designed with ridges in the foam which help trap heat. It is also reflective to direct heat back towards your body. As for comfort though, the Ridgerist Solite is definitely not the best. Some hikers do prefer ridges over the bumps on the switchback pad. However, the foam on the Ridgerist is very thin and side sleepers won't enjoy it. It's also pretty terrible on bumpy ground. However, the thin foam does have one benefit, it doesn't compress much over time like fluffier pads do. It will have almost the same level of comfort even after many trips. Another downside is that the Ridgerist is incredibly bulky. Because it rolls, you can't even fold one in down to use as a pillow like you can with the Switchback or Z-Lite. Number 1. Sea to Summit Ultralight Air Mat. The S2S Ultralight Air Mat gets my pick for the best cheap air pad. While it does cost the most out of the pads reviewed here, it's worth it because of the better quality. It is really designed to last through many trips and won't leak on you. The material is pretty durable too. It doesn't lose air overnight like most other air pads do. At 2 inches thick, it is one of the most comfortable budget pads you'll find. S2S uses air cells instead of long chambers, so it is decent for side sleepers. 
Other cool things, the stuff sack doubles as a pump. It only takes about three pumps with the sack to fill it up. A repair kit is included. And it treated inside to prevent mold growth.